uh, the main bearings, the uh, block half, and now I'm going to go to the uh, uh, girdle and put those halves in. And yeah, I think we're going to do the mains first and see what those come out. Everything down with WD-40. <laughs> oh yeah, just just to keep it marinated. Yeah, All right, so what size do I need? What are my tolerances here? The tolerance is between eight ten thousandths and uh, fifteen thousandths. Cut it. You can cut that into four pieces probably. Oh really? Yeah. And it goes in the bearing where you can't. It's not hanging out any anyway. Okay. The, the, wind, like, the wind's gonna catch it or something. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like I like if you can make it where it only fits in this channel, like that's what I would have done. But you can do whatever you want. But yeah, it doesn't need to be huge or anything because the way it flattens out here is what you're gonna measure. Okay, cool. If you didn't know, this is my baby, okay? I really enjoy this tool. <laughs> I really like it. Thank you. No? Torque settings are what? 38. Main bearings. How close I was. All right, so we got it torqued down to 38 foot pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the uh, girdle off. Probably stretch it. Let's see what the plastic gauge looks like. Think it'll bust loose 38 foot pounds? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Stuck to the crank or something goofy. Hope not. It's fucking soup. Well, so yeah, it did kind of melt. I don't. I didn't remember if you needed it totally clean or what. That's way better. It's better. It's like green shit. So between one thousandths and fifteen ten thousandths. Smaller, bigger. You need to write that down because the clearances are different for each one, right? For the Just slightly the ones uh, in the middle. Yeah. Fifteen ten thousands. Yeah, they're all maybe just a hair smaller than fifteen ten thousand. So I'll go back and look at the specs and see. Pretty sure that's gonna be around the money. Okay. Hi right, guys. So sorry, I ran you pretty bad there at the last uh, last couple minutes we were there. But pretty much the uh, main and rod uh, 
clearances, plastic gauge to be all be in spec. We're close enough. It was between like one ten thousandths and fifteen ten thousandths. So it's all it's all good. It's it's close enough just to throw together and uh the piston the wall clearance is set to three thousandths like I asked the machine shop to do for me. Um but before I put it together, well I guess it doesn't I could put it together and still wait. But I thought it'd be cool to actually push the stock bottom in as far as I could. Uh I'm gonna install the GM3 bar, the 1000 cc injectors, put some uh E85 in it, some ethanol and tune it up and see how much it'll hold before it lets go. I mean, since I have this extra engine, it is, it, you know, I wouldn't really mind if something lets go on the bottom end. I could, uh, if it trashes the head, I could always get a VTEC head, upgrade that, but yeah, I thought it'd be pretty fun just to push it to the limit, just to find out what a stock bottom end could do on a D16. Um, maybe 15 PSI on the 85 see what that runs at the track, that'd be pretty fun. So, uh, alright, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.